Hello everyone, it's Fab again here from Digital Fast Mind. So today I am covering a review of a WordPress plugin called Clarify. Uh, Clarify is a plugin which uh, covers various areas into WordPress optimization. It will help you to get a faster website as they claim into the site uh, in a few clicks uh, with no coding required. So let's it, explore it and see if it's true or not really. Uh, I will cover this review from different angles and point of view. First of all, I'm going to uh, install the free version of the plugin, Clarify, which we can download easily uh, in our plugin backend, and we will check the feature. Then I'll activate a business paid uh, version, which you can buy, and uh, we will see the differences and how it impacts in our website. Now. Uh, as a test site, I set up a staging site, which is actually live. It's based on a cheap uh, uh, VPS on Vulter with server avatar. So it's very, very simple to set it up and is not a demanding, uh, I mean, uh, a big demanding uh, machine. So it's something very, very simple. If it works here, I think it will work in really a lot of other sites. Another thing I did, I set up Elementor as a page builder along with the hello team which is my favorite and i will post you uh, the result now in a second so you can see after installing a few plugins and a page builder importing one of their basic classic template uh, we have our score to go back from uh, roughly 97 or 98 to this so as you can see, the structure is still very good, but uh, we have a few problems that we can sort it out, hopefully, using Clarify. So let's go here. This is our back end of the website. As you can see, I installed all free plugin. None of this is a, a pro version. So I got essential add-ons, master add-ons, premium add-ons. I installed WooCommerce and we got Elementor. The website is pretty simple. I will show you here. This is a simple page. I kept uh, just adding, you know, a bit like this, you know, or uh, for example, this animated text. I had some tooltips. I embedded this video. Added a few other bell and whistle, I would say, but it's still one page website, very, very simple. So this is actually we what we'll test and what I've set up for Clarify. So we go under plugin, click on add new. I want you to point out that this is not staged at all. If something is not going to work, you'll see and you'll see here. So I'll install now. As you can see, uh, this is Clarify. It's by Creative Motion uh, Web. Craftic is the same brand, so as you can see, they got different in reality things. You know, you can check over different plugins, but uh, we'll see that installing Clarify, we can install them later. So I'll activate it, and it will prompt us now to try the wizard or no. So I would say yes, try the wizard. Now it's going to scan our website and test the Google page speed, but we can also skip it if we want, click on or not now. I'm just waiting a few seconds. Let's see how it performs. It's, it's also good because obviously uh, it will show the actual Google page speed score, and we can potentially make a comparison there. So we got a, I would say, decent result on uh, this and uh, not very good, probably, on mobile score. So we will continue. And now we it's prompting us to install, for example, Robin Image Optimizer, uh, because Robin Image Optimizer is another plugin that you can install and use within Clarify to optimize uh, your images. And we will cover this as well. So I'll install it as they suggest. As you can see, we already have there two plugins activated, which is the Minify and Combine and the Asset Manager. So I'm activating it. 
it's active now i can go forward and continue so now it's starting to give us some choice some are already as you see pre-selected this is regarding the optimization side of the plugin it offers some as you can see basic sort of optimization i will accept that these are pretty basic so i'll continue now it's starting to talk about the seo because the plugin has some seo feature they are very basic so uh, i wouldn't say it's uh, really incomparable to other solution uh, but uh, you know more established let's say seo press or rank math whatever it is and uh, these are still interesting so i will accept and go forward now we're talking about optimizing the images now uh, we can run this task and optimize uh, but I will skip it for now and I will explain the reason in a few seconds. So I will skip the image optimization and now it's uh, testing Google page speed. This is actually, as you can see, into this uh, sort of uh, you know roadmap, let's say, is the second test because we had the first one, as you remember, so we had a poor score in mobile. It was roughly 71, if I well remember, in desktop. So changing these few settings with two clicks, as you can see, hasn't brought a massive you know, score improvement, really. It's just the same overall, because three points on desktop score and three on mobile doesn't make a, ma a massive difference. So I'll click Continue. And over here, you can see you will all you, you know what happens i mean it's it's prompting us if we want to upgrade to go pro and it will show what are the differences as you can see you will have access to asset manager pro i my wordpress pro a multi-site control and those other two things which are interesting so actually i wouldn't still go pro and i will click on finish now, this is the, ver the free version, as you can see, and this is what it will look when you open it. You got the one click of optimize, and uh, all those one click are interesting, but I I'm not the user actu actually that will follow this. The wizard is okay, but the one click, no thanks. I want to check and tune what I'm doing with this plugin. So we'll start with the image optimizer. Okay, first of all, uh, image robin optimizer as you can see media library and we can start or stop this optimization potentially so we click on settings first of all as you can see there are some limits here there are different settings so the first server uh, covers images with the limit five till five megabytes. The second is a beta. The premium has no limit. The premium is a paid service though. Then we can choose the compression mode. As you can see, we got lossless, lossy high, and uh, this is a tuned for Google page speed and custom. We have an auto optimization on mobile, and this is very important, a backup on the image. Why? Because if we optimize, let's say with a lossless and we want later, to re-optimize the images with a high or a custom, for example, and that's, for example, here, where you see, I mean, uh, we have the option to go back and re-optimize. So make sure that uh, before you make any optimization, this is selected. That, this is the reason why I wouldn't trust the wizard, because I say, hey, why? If we optimize now, we can't go back. I mean, it's better to check later. We got an error log, which can be interesting, and this is cool because it offer a webp uh, format where browsers support them so it's uh, pretty interesting you can also as you can see create a sort of backup uh, or uh, it will obviously restore it but the backup will be created when we actually optimize so there are also some other settings as you can see there is lazy loading for images which i'll turn on and uh, this optimization is about the order. Uh, it will ask if we want to resize layer large images. These are the formats uh, that we are going to optimize. So uh, we can select all of them. And we got a few schedule and uh, you know throttle. So we can basically make sure that the server doesn't get hammered too much, you know. So let's go forward now. 
I will select all of this. Let's see what happens. Okay, now everything is selected. Now I'll go back here. Uh, since I'm in the free version, I'll have only this option, which is the free option. And I'll click on Run. And I optimize now. So actually, it's working with the images. The site, as I said, it's pretty empty. It doesn't uh, to work a lot, I mean, to optimize. But let's see what happens. This is the actual initial size. We can see here the savings or not, you know, and the current size. Uh, I managed to compare this with another very, very famous plugin, which is Short Pixel. It's one of my favorite. I need to tell that the results were almost identical, really. And uh, uh, I think in the end, uh, Short Pixel uh, offers also a CDN, which you can uh, look at, obviously, uh, to integrate uh, potentially later if you want, or you can stick with this image optimization service. But as you can see, something has been already done. We have a few images which are not basically changed, like this, for example, but some of them, they've been quite improved. We have a 16% here, 30% here, and we start with the placeholder, for example, which is 50%. So we completed now the image optimization. Now we'll go under performance. Uh, this is something we already set up when we were checking the wizard, but we there are other features. There is this one, for example, to disable revision, I will keep it, or limit, for example, by WordPress, uh, the post revision, you can decide how many you want to keep. I'll, I'll keep it pretty clean, I want to use a lot. So if we click here, we can also decide to keep the default, or let's say keep for the post or the pages 15 revision, for example. Then it's interesting. We have we can remove the version from script, and I will do that. Uh, we can remove also the version from style sheet, and we can also exclude some of those. There is also this, which usually you are going probably to set uh, with another plugin made by the same uh, company by WP Reset. It's pretty famous to control the heartbeat and. This you can stick with the default, or you can say disable, for example, in the admin, or only when I need in post. You can decide also the the seconds. I will say like this, for example. So you can control heartbeat also with clarify, which is a nice addition. You can save it in the meanwhile. So let's go now to CEO. As you can see, the CEO is uh, including two. Uh, feature basically here, and then we got a sub panel here. It's uh, giving us the option to create the right robots, which can be an interesting add on. So I will set it on, and uh, we can uh, decide obviously how to work with the server header. I will set both on and I'll save it. Now I'm going to check the duplicate pages. Now, the delete duplicate pages is pretty interesting, but you have to be careful about it. Obviously, you want to be careful about everything that is going to remove something. Then uh, we go to another section, which is called defense. Now, the defense has some uh, interesting feature. is not as, I would say, complete, like uh, Wordfence, for example, which is one of my best favorite, but it has some interesting tweaks. So first of all, the hide outer login. It's, uh, something that uh, many of you may be aware if you had this uh, uh, interrogation point and author you equal one, it will tell you the default uh, author, so it's not very good. So we can potentially hide errors or disable XML RPC. I will keep it for now, but uh, as you can see, it just disabling is not giving you a different control, for example, where you can disable only for certain sort of tasks. Over here, you can remove the HTML comments or the meta generator, which I will do. And I will save it. Now, there is another feature here, sub panel, which prompts us to install Titan security. There is a small typo here, as you can see. It's a component uh, which works as a firewall, but I'm not going to install it here and use. While I'm going to check the idlogin page, 
and install it. This is interesting because many of brute force attacks uh, are directed to the same WP minus admin area where everyone has obviously the admin area by default. And with this add-on, you can change it and make it work. So we want to change the, as you can see, the hide. If the, they are trying to access, we will want user to redirect to 404. And then over here, for example, we we want to change this page to access. Okay, so we click on save. And as you can see here now, our uh, admin is not located anymore into uh, the WP minus admin, but to this URL. So you want to save and remember this. And actually, they also provide a recovery link, which is interesting. So what I'll do, I'll open a new tab here. It's an incognito. So I'll try to access WP admin. And we got a 404 error. But if we type in our new page, we have our uh, new login page, which is high hidden from the public, which is pretty cool. And it was pretty easy. I I didn't find anything bad about it. I mean, it he can still replace another plugin, which take care of it. So it's pretty good. So we go with comments. Now, under the comments, uh, uh, you we got a comment cleaner, but uh, we can disable, for example, if we don't want people to comment, and I will disable everywhere, for example, or on just on certain post type, which can be interesting. Let's say you got a, pay, a part of the page, which is, for example, restricted, and that's the only part where you want people to comment uh, your article, then you can decide, or uh, you can just say everywhere, uh, or keep it uh, active. It's just your call. They got a persistent mode, uh, which change makes change you know, to some database. So you have to be very, very careful. I won't use it. They lock, basically, the changes to, to the comments. So the comments will be closed. Now, there are other, you know, fixes here for the comments, but I'm not using it into this website, so I'll disable and I will keep it like this. I'll save. I don't have any comments to clean, but just in case, if you got a lot, you can just remove all the comments, all the spammy comments uh, or the unapproved and or the trashed comments. Over here, it's pretty automatic, as you can see. So it's pretty straightforward. This is another feature that's covering the updates of, of the plugins. So you can decide, first of all, if you want your WordPress core to be automatically updated or not. You can disable all the update, allow the measure. I mean, you, you can select how you want you know, to uh, run on uh, automation, I would say, your WordPress website. This is the same for the plugins and for the teams. So I got enabled both in manual mode, but I can have disable or keep enable auto update, for example, which is not bad at all. Over here, you got the option to get some uh, email notification if you jump with the pro version. And this is about the core. So uh, all uh, you know, the core uh, notification are uh, usually, usually sent uh, by WordPress. But if you want to disable this for some reason, you can disable in the pro version. So when we go down, we can even go into more detail and decide which of this plugin we want to, for example, uh, update automatically, which uh, we don't want. And in the pro version, you can also update the translation or even hide this plugin, for example, which is interesting. If we jump on the team, we got the same sort of options. And when you click advanced, you can uh, force automatic update. I won't uh, keep it uh, like uh, active. I won't test it unless you really need to. So just a side note, if we go now under the install plugin, as you can see now, you got three new things. So uh, these are uh, three things prompted by Clearfy, which is telling us if we want to upgrade to Pro. So we will hide three, this tree, for example. And then we have this. This is basically uh, telling us if this is enabled or not enabled, the auto update. So in this case, as you can see, they are all uh, disabled. And this is some nice add-on that let you know exactly what is being updated or not. In the meanwhile, you can see exactly the pro logins that I've installed along with Clearfy. So the ID login and the Robin image optimizer. So going back, you will find um, the plugin under 
the settings. Now, I would have created, to be honest, another uh, tab here, not put down their settings because when you got a lot of you know plugins and other stuff here, it's uh, starting to be pretty you know messy. So I would create another panel here, which say clarify, and inside potentially I will use the eye login page or the Robin image optimizer. Optimizer. So going back to clarify, we are now uh, managing the updates, and we click on advanced. Now the up down the advanced uh, advan advanced sorry <laughs> uh, cover some extras. Now, it, it can hide or not the notices. It can also enable the hidden notices. As you can see, there is a reset potentially, and you can disable the top bar. I will keep everything enabled in this case, like re, uh, for the admin bar. Uh, it's not bad. And the widgets, this is interesting. I haven't used and I will take it very carefully because it, I would explain if obviously there are some uh, widgets that are not used, is still mean create an extra query to the database so this can obviously be a bit more bloated uh, i don't think it's you know a big deal to be fairly honest but uh obviously it's still something to take into account so you can potentially deselect this select uh, deciding which one you want to keep or remove and this is pretty nice so when we jump into the components this will show us all the components which are included or can be activated within uh, the plugin itself. So, for example, Robin Image Optimizer, it's uh, free. It's been activated here and it's all good, but you got, for example, the Cache Premium, which is not obviously enabled here because uh, we don't have it uh, uh, in the free version. We just have a basic caching. Asset Manager, uh, it's interesting and I will show you what it does. And then we got other premium version of this I, my WordPress, for example, SEO friendly images, which is cool, super cool. I think JScript, so it will load JavaScript uh, scripts uh, synchronously, which is nice. And uh, as you can see, some other are free. So uh, I think, uh, first of all, um, I was checking Robin Image Optimizer. So many of you may say, hey, it's cool. It's optimizing. Yes, it's not providing a web P version, but uh, how long will this be free? Well, into their page, it's in their frequently asked question. And you can see here, I mean, it will tell. We are using Rizmush. So as long as it's free, it will be free. If not, obviously, they will uh, manage to you know, maybe choose a different service or just sell you the service. Uh, I would also say that if you go under their clarify, uh, there are also other options. Uh, I mean, you can still buy the pro version, to be honest, which is pretty cool. And uh, you have, I will show you, uh, some decent limit uh, with a very honest pricing. So it will cost you $39 per year and will cover 5,000 in image per month. And uh, you, you know, you'll be pretty, pretty good with that, I would say. Uh, they offer also a bundle with the Titan anti-spam and security or uh, and Clearify or uh, Clearify and Robin. Uh, I mean, the, this bundle is pretty good, pretty, really good and support for three websites. Uh, I would say super honest if you're interested into the service. So. Going back to our site, now we can do a retest, for example, here, because we know exactly that uh, Google PageSpeed is uh, pretty, you know, different. Obviously, in scoring, uh, it's pretty custom for some parameters, while uh, I love more GD metrics. I think you offer that good, uh, you know, term of checking things uh, along uh, the various options. It's also based on uh, light speed. So let's see what happens. This is live, no stage. So we improved our score, as you can see. We have a B now, but still under performance on the waterfall. Let's see. We can potentially improve or do something. There is a blocking time here. So this may be due maybe to some script or uh, which is blocking our website. But still, this is uh, absolutely what we achieved with a free version of Clearify. And, uh, I haven't worked it out with the asset manager. So what I will do now, I will show you how it works. You go under the pages and you got all the pages here. You got your own page and you want to view the page. 
When you view the page on top, you will got Clearify, as you can see, and you can check uh, the Asset Manager. Now, this is showing us basically all the plugins that are loaded into the, this page, along with the type of uh, loading asset. So this is a CSS, this is a JavaScript. If you click on MISC, it will tell you also some other info about some different handlers like uh, jQuery, for example, and all the dependencies. So if you disable this, for example, in this case, you'll have a problem with all of this, which depends on this. But still, if they're not linked into your main page, you can give it a try. I won't because obviously, as you can see, it's just one page. But there is, for example, this WooCommerce car fragments. We know which one of the, is one of the worst, really, in uh, WordPress. So let's go under plugins. Now, everything is... Um, enabled here, but I would say that uh, the WooCommerce into main website is not enabled. So when we try to do that, it says this is required for block style. If you disable, will be disabled. I will click on this. And I'm starting to disable basically all the WordPress stuff I can because in my main page, which is the one I'm optimizing, for example, I is not present. So uh, Elementor, I want to keep it. Uh, let's go forward and see what we can do. As you can see here, you can decide which URL or which rules or user you want to disable this. In the custom URL, you have the pro. You have to use the pro. So. There are some limitations here, but for the basic, I would say it works. Uh, bear in mind that this is obviously always a hit and miss situation where you want to test and check how your site performs, reload and see how it works, something breaks. So it's nothing, you click and it's done, boom. I will still tell you to be careful when you use this. We don't use, for example, any Lotti uh, animation, so I will disable this JavaScript because I, need, I don't use it, let's say. Or uh, let's see. OK, I think for me, this is OK. There is also a safe mode in the Pro, which is a sort of test mode, so we are not using that at the moment. So I'll save it. And these are settings have been saved. These are the themes. We can also work out uh, with this uh, CSS file. But at the moment, I won't touch them. So I'm going forward here, checking some other hooks or things that may be interesting for us to disable. OK, there are, is also something here about Google Fonts. I haven't uh, checked yet. So this showing us that this page now uh, was first of this size, 3 megabytes roughly, and now it's 2.6. But this is not the big problem, I would say. We need to see how it performs and if it breaks. So I'll save, I'll open a, a new window, and I'll see if it breaks. So far, everything is working, because obviously I've kept it pretty simple, but I've disabled something. So I want to now retest it. Let's see how it performs. Uh, there is also uh, a, fact to, a fact to consider when you clear the cache and you make some changes. You want the site, obviously, for a few minutes, I would say, to stabilize. But uh, in this case, uh, I'm working really with very simple fixes and tweaks. So let's see if something happened. OK, we had a loss, actually, in terms of um, performance, it looks. So we want to check what's going on here. We can optimize for sure something with a caching plugins, because this one is not caching, for example, in an effective way, the fonts. And there are pretty a lot. Or we can look after other optimization. So maybe my asset, manage, you know, my asset changes weren't uh, the best, but still, I think it may be roughly something that if we retest changes, so I'll retest here. We got a blocking 
for example, blogging time still pretty high, and this is another reason. So let's retest exactly without changing anything. Let me while I'll close some tabs. The blocking time has increased actually, so we need to check what's going on here. I haven't used anything like Cloudflare, for example, for the um, DNS, and I'm not using anything else than Clearify. So this is actually the score I had, which was a, between a B and a C, as you can see. And uh, I'll now uh, close this first part, which is the part related to the uh, Clearify free version. And then we will see if we can improve things uh, jumping on the uh, pro version, which offers more custom customization. Uh, in the meanwhile, I will just want to check a few other stuff, though, because something may be needed as well. And it's uh, interesting to see if we can improve something in the meanwhile, even with the free version. We got we have this um, WooCommerce, which can disable. Okay, we'll save it now. When we are done with this, we can close this. We can clear page, but cache. But as you can see here, into the minify, we haven't added some interesting stuff. We can try now and see how it works. So let's try, first of all, to optimize the code. We want to just go now to the JavaScript, which is one of the problem we had. We want to. We would like to move maybe to the footer, but it's only available in the pro. So we'll stick what with uh, what we got. So we'll aggregate this file, but uh, we need to check if it works. Then we want to check also this one and be careful. And we want to force in the ad, but let's see what happens. We'll try to uh, combine basically those files. And this is interesting. There are some critical CSS we can insert here to do things even better. So at the moment, as you can see, we managed to jump on the minify section. Under the cache, we haven't uh, enabled it, basically, because it's only for the pro. And this is something you have to obviously watch out, because uh, this can really make a big change. So sticking with the free version, we'll still try all our best here. We need to enable this, we say. Let's see if the site breaks or not. Probably it will. And I'll save it. OK, cool. Now we open this page again. And we retest it. Okay, first of all, you can see that there are some problems with the CSS, for example, this side panels of the image. This is white, so it's not lacking. Uh, and also here, we have something which is not present anymore. This image. So something definitely break. So we'll go back here. And we'll start to go back now. Let's see if just something related to CSS. So I'll keep up optimize, and I won't aggregate it. I'll save it.
reload the page. Okay, one thing, first of all, which is interesting, is that now the CSS, as you can see, has fixed uh, the, the bars we had here. Still here, we got a problem with the image. It's not showing there where it should. And this is something which has happened here, something with the JavaScript probably broke because it, it, we had an image here, as you can see, if you check into the original, we had an image here and then over here there were the scrollers. So this is something related to JavaScript for sure. So we just remove this, for example, and just optimize this. Save and reload the page. Okay, now cool, we got the image back. This is something with the Java for sure. We got this scroller working again and the CSS is working, but did it change something uh, regarding our optimization? Let, well, retest the page. I know it takes some time and uh, at the moment it's best to check live and see what happens, obviously. Uh, this is my honest review, so I'm not faking anything or staging something. It's good to see what happens. So first of all, we see there has been a slightly improvement, which is cool. And I'm pretty sure that not using actually at the moment any real cache, uh, we can potentially achieve a very, very good result if we start using the pro version. So for now, this is everything regarding uh, um, this first part. Note in, bear in mind that we can use also another plugin uh, uh, which cover the caching system, for example, like WP Rocket or uh, W3 uh, Total Cache. Uh, we can use a uh, fastest cache or whatever we need, really. But I, in this review, I want to cover first this and see what's the best we can achieve using uh, the Clearify as a plugin, as a free, and as a pro. But uh, in the next video, I will also test if I can't reach a good result, maybe adding another simple cache plugin, even in the free version, and see how it performs. So thanks for watching, and we'll see. You, I'll see you later in the next video.